I think we can all agree that when it comes to fasting and supplement use, it can be really confusing and frustrating. But what if I told you that it really doesn't have to be that frustrating? In fact, it could be really simple. So in this next three video series, I'm gonna discuss my three reasons of why you should or should not take supplements during a fast. Hi, I'm Dr. Grand, and welcome to my channel. I am a family doctor in the state of Washington where I primarily focus on both conventional and holistic medicine when it comes to my clinic helping out my patients with helping with their conditions. And without further ado, welcome to another video. Okay, if you are new here and you are looking for ways to improve your health, find best practices for intermittent fasting, fasting and detoxification, then you should subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that we do here on this channel. I think we can all agree here that fasting can be a very powerful biochemical process for our body. But when it comes to supplements, it can be really confusing whether you should or should not take those supplements or not. So like I said before, I'm gonna break down three reasons of why you should or should not take supplements during a fast. So reason number one is, what are you trying to accomplish with a fast? This is a really important question to ask yourself because fasting can have lots of different benefits. And so really it's good to understand really why, what are you trying to accomplish with a fast? And so with my patients, we always like to just kind of break down what is their purpose of doing a fast and having an actual plan for their health fasting plan to be able to know really what they want to accomplish and overcome. Now, there is two big major reasons why people do fast. One of the biggest ones, obviously a very obvious one, is that people really typically want to lose weight. Hence the big intermittent fasting thing that's going around that people having lots of benefits through doing intermittent fasting, but then people might want to take it to a next level by doing prolonged fast to even burn off more fat. So that's one big reason that people might do the fast. The other reason that people typically do a fast is for more for health benefit reasons. They might have a major health condition that they want to try to use fasting to be able to treat their condition. Now, if you're using fasting just to lose weight and you can care less about the health benefits that come with fasting, then taking supplements really shouldn't be a big deal. But of course, certain supplements you need to take versus some other supplements that might not be good to take during a fast. Now, if you're trying to use a fast to actually get good health benefits from it, then taking supplements isn't the best option for most people. And we'll talk about the other reasons of why maybe you should take supplements. But first off, really not having to take supplements. And the reason why I say that is because really, what, are you, what is a water fast? Let's just ask ourselves that. It is where you are strictly just drinking water alone, nothing else. The reason why this is so powerful and effective for the body is one, autophagy. Now, if you're not familiar with what autophagy is, it's essentially it's just basically our, our good cells are consuming a lot of the old dying cells and those good cells become even more rejuvenated and regenerating new cells and this is a sense of really the powerful of anti-aging or keeping ourselves more youthful. There's a lot of research on this and I am planning on actually doing a video on autophagy, but really that is a big benefit. And so when it comes to actually having our body to be in a process where there's nothing in it, when you think about it, when you really have nothing in the system, our body can now completely focus on other things. It doesn't have to be busy about processing foods or processing other nutrients or other vitamins. It really can now start depleting glycogen, which we really want to do is depleting those glycogen stores. Now you don't have to take my word for it, but there has been some recent um, studies that have actually been done on research on mice. And one of them in particular actually tested mice. One group actually was taking NAC, so a particular amino acid and they were doing it during their fast, they were taking that NAC, and then the other group was not taking any NAC, and they were actually just fasting strictly. Now, the interesting thing that they found is that autophagy uh, levels were actually depleted when you were, these mice were actually taking NAC supplementation versus the mice that actually were not taking the NAC supplementation and were just strictly doing fasting, their autophagy cells autophagy processes actually were elevated 
significantly. And really, again, how I kind of emphasize with autophagy, what is so beneficial with that is that it's regenerating new cells in our system. And so you could see all the potential fasting benefits that come from that. And I have talked about this a few times in my videos of the different health benefits that fasting can have. And I'll make sure to leave a link of that description either in one of these cards or at the end of the video. Now in another study, there was actually, this was another set of group of mice, and they were actually using supplementation of NAC as well, but were measuring other things. And what they found with the group that actually took NAC during their fast versus the mice that actually did not take NAC during their fasting process, is that the group that had taken the NAC is that their glycogen storage was higher in their muscle and liver. The glycogen storage is basically our carbohydrate storage. And so you really want to be able to obviously deplete your storage so that your body could go into ketosis state. You want to be able to increase that, especially if you're trying to lose weight. So ultimately, taking any kind of amino acids, if you're planning on using fasting for losing weight, is not the best option. And really that's what's so significant about fasting without any kind of supplementation is that you could actually increase not only burning off the fat cells, but also increasing the autophagy and be able to increasing these other health benefits. So that is my first reason of why you should and should not take supplements during a fast. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and share with your families and friends. And then go ahead and leave in a comment in the comment section below whether you do actually do take supplements while you fast and whether you do not take supplements while you fast. I'm just curious of what is the general consensus of everybody if they do or do not take supplements during a fast. And if you do not want to miss any of the next video series of this series of whether you should or should not take supplements for the other two reasons, go ahead and subscribe right here on uh, this button right here. And then of course, if you haven't watched any other videos, right down here I will is the playlist of my fasting videos that I have done for both intermittent fasting and fasting if you haven't seen those. So until next time, this is Dr. Legrand out. Thanks. Bye.